Okay, so here's the deal. This little plastic piece right around here, you just have to, it's spring loaded. You slide this back. When you slide this back, you can turn this front part so that the, the connector is pointing straight up like this. Now, here's the one off my 2014, but uh, I kind of screwed up the plastic on this because I did this before I took it to Eric and he, he found this neat little video. Uh, so this girl that, that took this one apart in the video, she had these little rubber things she put on her fingers so she could get a good grip on it and just pull this back. I found you could stick a piece of tape on there as well, kind of roll it up. I'll just kind of roll this, double side it, roll it up. So you get a double sided sticky. And you just kind of wrap that around this. And you can slide this back just like that. And then turn this front piece just like that. See? That exposes this little lock pin right here. Now all you gotta do is push that little lock pin out. And you want to kind of keep some pressure on it so it doesn't. Sh it's spring loaded, so when you pull that little lock pin out, like I just did, it's going to shoot this little motor right off the end. That's it. You pull that spring and that off. Now you got this little motor. That's all there is to it. Of course, there's going to be oil coming out of here as well. You've just opened up the valve. So, that's it. Later.